Hello, my name is Warren Cartwright, and I'm the Director of Product Management for Software Support and Services here at Sierra Wireless. For today's session, we're going to look at the TRIPS report, and I'm going to log into my ALMS account and quickly go into the reporting section. And so in today's scenario, what we're going to look at is I've had a customer call in and say that one of our vehicles has damaged part of their property. And they claim this happened on January 10th and that it was one of our sprinter vans. And so what I'm going to do is go into the report section and I've previously run a, a report on the 10th of January for my sprinter van in question. In this particular case, I can see exactly where my driver has been. The report that came in was from a customer that lives over on the west side of Vancouver. We can clearly see that my driver has not been anywhere near there. And so what we might do is send that off to the customer, exonerating our driver. So I might want to have a, a deeper look at this report. And well, there's kind of a graphical view that has the trips that that driver has taken. If I wanted a better view of this, I can always click on the full screen view and you can see there's this little selector that gives you a number of different options. So it might be that I just want to focus on the speeding events. And so if I deselect the others, I can now see these little red sectors. I can also see the network status. In this case, you know, my driver would be reporting a legitimate problem. You know, his connection was down for this entire trip and it might warrant further investigation. If we exit back out of full screen mode, you can see that down here at the bottom, we've also kind of got a grid view that will show the two, in this case, trips that he took during the course of the day. And if I wanted to, I could always filter down and we can see exactly where that trip happened by filtering it on the map and seeing just that portion of the trip. We can also look at some of the other features of this report. The stops report is going to show me all the places that my driver stopped. We can just move these sliders and you will see that the types of stops will change dynamically. We can also see exactly down here some distance information, how long the stop was and where it took place. So this could give you some good insight into the stops that the particular driver or drivers are making. So hopefully you've seen a number of different elements of the trip report. And I hope that this short video has shown some of those features to you. Thank you.